Disclaimer. This review features a collectible item and it's for adult collectors ages 13 and up only. It is not intended for children. So if you are age 13 or below, please stop watching this video now. Thank you. Lydia here and welcome back to a new door review on my channel. So today I'm continuing on and actually pretty much finishing up the series 2 of Lord Surprise Twins dolls uh, with her, which is Lexi Girl. Uh, I uh, actually did a review on all of the dolls from this series and basically there are four dolls. This is the fourth one and yeah, I'm finishing up the reviews of this, uh, these girls. And uh, I will still soon uh, probably start uh, reviewing the uh, series 3. But until then, I am still talking about Lexi over here. And she is super cute. She is uh, probably one of my favorite uh, um, twin dolls from this line. Uh, along with, you know, uh, Aya. Uh, Aya Shari, which uh, I did a review of. And you can see it on my channel. And Lexi over here, she seems to be like... Um, super uh, super like um i'm not sure how to put it so she has this lolita style if i'm correct so she has kind of like a uh, japanese anime inspiration which is interesting because aya was also like japanese uh, inspired uh, from this line and she has like this super uh, curly hair at least on the artwork the doll itself the hair seems to be a little bit more tame but maybe that's just because um, she's inside the box. Yeah, she has like a little bit of a, uh, I'm just going to call it crazy, um, design with her. Um, she reminds kind of, uh, she reminds me kind of like uh, from Ever After High, how Madeline Hatter, the daughter of the, of the Matt Hatter, had, had uh, her look. Uh, that's what she reminds me of. Uh, so I think she would just fitting perfectly with the Wonderlandians uh, and you know from Alice in Wonderland but uh, I still really, really love her and I think she is a uh, super uh, adorable and a lot of details on this doll as well so that's uh, pretty awesome so first off we are going to take a closer look at the box and after that I will uh, unbox her and we'll see all her little uh, details and uh, cool uh, design so here is a close-up of Lexi inside her box and as you can see and I told you before that her hair seems to be really tame inside the box so I'm really curious to see how um, how poofy and curly her hair is when I get her out of the box because I really really like how she looks over here on the artwork uh, with her hair so I am really curious to see how uh, well they managed to do that. Um, but yeah, you can see the full doll inside and her main color seems to be pink, uh, teal and black. And to go with that theme, as you can see the insert inside the box is a black and white stripe with some teal diamond shapes. Pretty cool. Now over here it says Series 2 Low Surprise Twins. And I showed you the artwork before. She says let's hang out and she's also winking and um, being all silly. Which again really fits uh, how I imagine her. It says her name Lexi Guru. And over here it says 15 surprises, fashion and accessories, play and style. So yes, all of her accessories and stand and whatnot are packed inside the box. You just can't see it. This is the side of the box and you can actually see uh, her from the side too. And uh, here is her little sister. It says hey sis and I actually do own this little um, Lola surprise doll in my collection um, mine is missing her bow <laughs> and uh, her boots but yes I do own her and I do not know her name so I'm sorry about that guys I don't know the name of the little ones and here is the back of the box we get a full picture of four of the four dolls from uh, this uh, series and I did a review on all these and now I'm doing on Lexi. Then here it says I'm in between but right where I wanna be. That's their, log uh, that's their uh, motto and um, or catchphrase 
and uh, it says so in uh, different languages hashtag collect loan you can uh, follow them on Instagram and on YouTube as well and on this side we have a uh, teal and black stripes going down and there is her name Lexi girl with some more diamond shapes and uh, yeah that's about it for the box the box seems to be a little bit more uh, simple than uh, we had in the first series but at least we can see now the doll inside and make sure that uh, if you are getting her from the store, make sure that she does not have any paint errors or flaws or any of that uh, annoying uh, things. And uh, yeah, so now let me just grab her out of the box and I'll be right back. So here is a Lexi girl out of her uh, box and she is super cute. She is, uh, I don't know, somehow starting to become my favorite from this series. So she's trying to like um, uh, win over uh, my heart to... Uh, I actually, but <laughs> I don't know, she's just super super cute and yes, I was right, her hair, her super cute curly hair was held by, held back by um, those uh, elastic uh, strap things inside the box, so it's kind of unfortunate actually that you cannot see how cute she is um, inside the box because uh, yes, her hair was uh, held back, but now that she's free, I am able to see her in all. Her, her full uh, glory and she is uh, super adorable um, before I show you the doll as usual I will show you what she comes with so let me just move her out of the way now um, all of her stuff uh, came packed in these little bags and I kind of got used to these by now because all of the series 2 dolls have their uh, things packed in these and you know the previous series kind of had the same uh, thing with just uh, different um, different ways I guess so um, her little bag her uh, jewelry and stuff like that came in these and uh, I think uh, the jewelry was wrapped in this um, kind of like a uh, mint color so it kind of gets blend into my background sorry about that guys uh, but the, yeah this mint colored um, little paper which has uh, the diamond shapes on it I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. So yeah, uh, the usual stuff for now. Before I show you these tiny accessories, let me just uh, show you the box. So the, the insert actually of the box. So this was the part that was like visible uh, from, you know, from outside. And there she was. You can see still the plastic thing that was her holding her. Now this side was the hidden part. And... Uh, this is like a throwback to the first series uh, dolls or first series boxes because back then they had like a uh, room playset and this is kind of you know a part of her room actually because uh, you know it's just a teeny tiny uh, piece of the box but we can still see how her room looks she has some shoes over there and this is like a makeup table um, with some little um, accessories at all nail polish and whatnot there's this huge mirror over there there is also like a broken heart over there and I really like it that she has like some uh, photos um, stuck to the mirror and there she is with gold twist so I'm guessing they are friends and uh, there is also like a picture of um, one of the girls from uh, from the uh, super um, something band I don't know what the name of the band of the OMG dolls band is but uh, it's one of these I unfortunately do not do not own any of those dolls but yeah it's one of the um, one of the members that actually have kind of like the same style that uh, that Lexi does so they're like kind of this Lolita style if I'm correct she also has this uh, hanger over here with two little purses and a umbrella which is super cute some plushies over there and that's her little sister a picture of her little sister and up here you can see it but she has these awesome like curtains so yeah a little bit more of of her i guess you can know a little bit more of her she likes really cutesy and frilly uh, stuff now uh, she of course comes with a comb and this is how it looks like it's a really light like lavender purple color and it looks basically the same as any of the other twin dolls has 
and over here it says twins on it so yeah nothing uh, too new or exciting about the comp she also comes with a little composition book or notebook and it says Lexi girl on it more diamond shapes in mint and yellow color this is how it looks from the back and when you open it up we get a picture of her it's the same picture as it was on the front of the box and here is that little quiz thing so it this or that and it says mismatch or match and she circled mismatch because well we saw it from her um, whole style that she likes mismatched stuff uh, playful or serious and she is playful and you can kind of tell from her uh, picture over here and selfies uh, versus uh, photobombs and she likes photobombs better so yeah she is a cheeky playful little uh, tween and she also comes with a little backpack which I'm pretty sure you can put it on her I did not try that and it's a really um, cute and at the same time really interesting backpack because as you can see these are uh, like it's like a plushie um, with two cats and this is also like mismatched because one of them is this really light uh, purplish pink color and the other one is a dark gray they also have some bows and as you can see it's, it's a kind of weird because they are kind of like a, also like a broken heart shape uh, I mean their bodies is like a broken heart shape and uh, yeah it, it has two heads so it's kind of like a um, Siamese uh, twin um, kitty cat backpack purse thingy um, it is weird I have to tell you guys that but it's cute at the same time so and the straps as are white as you can see and you cannot open this so it's just a, a little decorative uh, backpack but it's 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 something uh, really um, interesting for sure and unique I have never seen something like this uh, come with a doll before that's for sure and uh, last but not least of course um, she comes with a stand and this is how it looks like and it is the exact same color as my background so that's why my back uh, my um, background has a trouble um, focusing on it because it is a mint colored stand the usual stand that we see with all the twins dolls really good quality in my opinion it says lower surprise twins on it and uh, you know this is how it looks it also has that extra waist holder part in case you lose the other one and um, yeah so these are all the stuff that she comes with now let's take a closer look at the actual doll so here is Lexi up close and as you can see she is actually a darker skinned doll which looks really great with these um, lighter pastel colors that she has so she has the usual big uh, bug like eyes that all lol surprise dolls have and um, her eye color is actually really interesting it's like a dark um, dark teal slash blue I don't know if you guys can uh, tell the actual color because it looks more blue on camera that in a, that it actually is in real life so it's really interesting now uh, she has uh, pink lips but actually the the upper uh, lips are a little bit darker pink than the lower one I hope that's visible on camera now of course her makeup is also mismatched because on this side as you can see it is a light pink with some uh, kind of like a, a, a even lighter pink that fades into white and as you can see she has this really cool um, kind of reminds me of her uh, of her eyelashes but these are not eyelashes these are parts of her makeup there's also like a little dot over there so it kind of gives me her whole makeup kind of gives me a feeling of like a jester or uh, a harlequin or something like that and on this side her makeup is a light teal and again that teal fades into white and has the same harlequin style uh, paint job so really really interesting makeup now I'm pretty sure she has eyebrows and from what I see underneath her eyebrows are light purple it's just that her bangs as you can see in the front are like really really gelled 
and I don't want to mess that up so I'm trying not to really move them. I think her, her eyebrows are light pink but I, uh, I mean light purple but I uh, may be wrong from what I can see. And uh, yeah, so now moving on to her hair, which is also mismatched, what a surprise. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, the bangs in the front are super gelled and they are like a, a pretty, it's not like a super pastel-y purple, but it's a lighter purple color. And her hair, as you can see, it is short, but it's probably because it's like all curled and really like poofy and really nicely uh, made curls as well. And they are not like gelled or anything and they really hold their look so I'm really happy about that and as you can see this side is pink while this side is a mint color so I think that just gives her a super cute look now she also has these little white bows in her hair and uh, honestly I'm not really satisfied with them because I mentioned before uh, when she was still in box that on the box art the bows are like way bigger and these are just like super teeny tiny and I don't know it just looks um, looks a little bit boring in my opinion and they are made in a bit of a weird way too because as you can see the bow itself is made out of ribbon white ribbon but they are like attached to these uh, plastic uh, white ring things so you can actually take these off if you wanted to, but I would have preferred if just, you know, the the um, bows were just like simply tied into her hair or something more um, more natural looking, I guess. So yeah, it's a little bit of a weird solution that they did there, but it is what it is. Now moving down, she also has a pair of earrings which are black and they are kind of like a diamond shape or maybe like a... Uh, pyramid shape I'm not sure what to call them and they are the same on both sides and let me tell you guys these were like a struggle to put in I actually had to heat up her head with um, a blow dryer to be able to put this in because the holes of, of for the earrings are like really tight and these are like super tiny as well so they are like hard to hold um, so yeah I'm not a huge fan of the of the earrings and you can't really see them either uh, underneath her hair so yeah the earrings could have been a little bit more uh, interesting but um, that's that now moving down to her outfit it is super cute I really really like it so the outfit itself is uh, made out of uh, multiple layers to be exact because this is not a dress she is actually wearing a, a simple little teal colored um, t-shirt with puffy sleeves as you can see and the t-shirt itself is really simple uh, but the color of it I really like it I think it's super cute it has um, this light pink mesh color and there's also like, like a pink little bow in the front there's nothing interesting on the back it's just simple now uh, she also has this uh, skirt which kind of also reminds me of this especially this first part like a, a apron but it is a, a skirt and as you can see the, uh, the skirt has straps the straps are made out of or like a PVC material so um, I'm not uh, a fan of that you know it, it starts to disintegrate after some time but it also has these two little buckles on it as you can see and here on the in the front we have this again a broken heart um, basically made out of material and it's also mismatched as you can see one side is black and the other one is this pink checkered fabric two little crosses in the front and around the little heart we have some of more of that pink mesh now this uh, goes into this cute little uh, kind of ruffled and wide skirt which is also mismatched and it's mismatched uh, like the like the opposite way as the heart is so as you can see this side is the black one and this one is with the checkered fabric and we have also some of that white crisscrosses uh, here in the front and um, around it we have this black and uh, pink striped material as a trimming really cute and we also have these uh, mesh materials uh, as decorations on it and as you can see this side is pink with some little pink dots on it 
and it actually feels like really really nice like the, I think the dots are made out of like a um, uh, what's it called a uh, brain fart I don't know what's it called it's it's a, that really really soft fabric um, velvet that's it so they are like really velvety and on this side as you can see it's black so it looks super cute and around her waist we also have a PVC material um, kind of looks like a belt with these little fake buttons on it I think there's one actually missing over there if I'm I'm seeing that correctly um, but yeah and by the way the the belt is not a separate not a separate piece so it's it's like sewn onto the the skirt and it was like a super cute surprise at least to me that underneath her skirt she actually has a pair of shorts which are also black and have pink dots on it and super cute like lacy trimming around it and it's like made out of a stretchy material so it's uh, stuck to her legs pretty well now moving down she also has mismatched uh, stretchy material socks as you can see one side is black and teal striped while the other one is white and teal striped and she also has these super adorable boots they are high boots as you can see and they are laced up in the front one side is pink and the other side is teal and with the same color uh, accents it's matched we like how the heels are like laced up as well and some silver decoration over here in the front kind of looks like it has some studs on it or something uh, but yeah super cute and I'll just move back because she also comes with bracelets we have this one which is like a multiple layered bracelet it's light pink teal and black and we actually saw this same mold in just different color in the first series with um, um, I don't remember her name anymore but I, she was the like the rockabilly girl she had the same type of uh, um, bracelet oh by the way her nails are also painted as you can see with teal and on this side her nails are painted pink so again mismatched stuff and she has this super cute white bracelet with some little black dots on it and there are also some little pink dots I'm not sure if you guys can see that because it is so teeny tiny but yeah that's that's her jewelry she does not come with any uh, like um, necklace or anything uh, else but yeah that is a uh, Lexi girl with all her details and uh, I honestly think she is just super adorable I really love her whole outfit and that's about it for this review of a Lexi girl from the second series of the LOL surprise twins I hope you liked my review if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below what do you think of her do you also find her super cute and what do you think of her uh, really unique and a little bit weird um, backpack and also if you like my overall reviews you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel I of course do other uh, lol surprise omg and you know twin door reviews and other kind of toy and door reviews as well I also have a Facebook page uh, you can go ahead and like it the link will appear somewhere on the screen if you haven't done that yet of course and uh, yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye